Thank you all for joining me and welcome back to Icarus. So I wanted to do a video just to show, well, to show you how I actually do things when it comes to the talents, how I like to set it up. Now it is personal preference, uh, especially with the Tetri, well, it's more to do with the talents than anything else, but with the Tetri, the way I do things. Um, so, cause there was a lot of new players that was coming to the open world uh, since the open world mode was introduced. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm I'm not going to be able to do it in full detail because there's way too much to go into, uh, but it will give you an idea of how actually you know of what you want to do. Now there are different things you can unlock in the Tetri. You've got like um, different weapons that you can unlock. Now for me, I prefer long range weapons. I, I, it's, I've always played that way. I prefer it that way. It all depends on the game, to be honest with you. Um, like in the Infected, a spear. I actually quite like and I prefer it just feels better but well I do use the bow as well for hunting mainly because of the bears and stuff but yeah and um yeah so it, it's personal preference to what what I actually say in this video it doesn't necessarily mean that's what you every player has to do it's all personal preference but it will give you an idea of how to go about the actual game so I'm quickly going to go through the tag now as you know well most of you would know we've actually started a season two and we're doing a new player and as you can see uh rushing up three there is a level 28 um <clears throat> so I've not long started with um you know that playthrough and doing it with a new character on the first season I actually did it with a maxed out character which I believe was either, I think it was that one or that one I can't remember uh, but uh, yeah, I will show you uh, the talents that I use on there because I obviously can't show you on here because I'm not, I'm not putting them all on yet. There's also a site that you can use. Uh, it, honestly, I don't think it's had an update for a while, but I have used it in the past and it kind of will give you an idea of how the talents work. Anyway, let's jump in and quickly talk about the tech and how I like to do it. Like I say, I'm not going to be able to actually showcase every single thing in the game, unfortunately, because... There's just way too much in the game to go through and it would just take forever. Okay, so this is the actual uh, the blueprint point, uh, the, the tech tree that we have in the game. Now, one thing I would never do is unlock everything. It's pointless. Uh, it was gonna be a nightmare for you for when you're trying, when you actually leveled up a, an actual character and you've literally unlocked everything in this tree you're going to have a nightmare looking when you're going to the benches and stuff like that looking for the actual item you're trying to actually craft and it's just going to be frustrating and a nightmare for you so trust me best not to do that now the way i like to do it i like to i mean it's going to be personal preference again like i say i like to sort of like save my talent points especially when i'm starting a new character and only unlock the things i know i need at that time and then i'll leave it at that and as you can see, I've, I'm at level 28 and I've still got 25 points available. Now you will get three points for every level. And I've, I'm not sure if you get more every five levels or I think that's just for the talent points. Now the talent points are limited. You're not going to get, I think you get 60 now uh, and 25 solo points, uh, which I'll go through shortly. But as you can see here now, I've all, obviously uh, a lot of this is going to be uh, straightforward and uh, most people will be doing the same so obviously at the beginning you're going to have to spend your talent points like you're going to need a campfire a bedroll although technically a bedroll well you're going to need to make sure you've got a point for a bedroll ready for when you've got shelter there are new players that will go into a cave and put a bedroll down so they can get through the night or dig into an actual a big boulder to actually put a bedroll down but honestly i can get a shelter up uh, even if it gets dark, I can still get it done in that first day. Uh, so yeah, because I'll show you why. Uh, now, obviously, you're going to need to get the bow as soon as possible. Probably the wood, uh, the wood sort of like torch thing, because that's just going to make it easier, especially when it comes to nighttime. So, but, but basically, it's your choice. Now, the bone arrow is definitely a good upgrade from the stone arrow, but you're going to have to wait till you get to level five. But like I say, if you're careful with your blueprints and only unlock what you actually need at that time. Uh, and it's just going to make a life a lot more easier for you. Now, the, the bone sickle is probably a good thing to have sooner, uh, but obviously it might be a little bit later on. The shelter is probably the more important thing to start off with, um, but uh, that will help with um, grinding it out for XP, especially on the early levels, because you can just get a load of fiber and you can just keep uh, crafting these, destroying them, getting half the actual materials back and doing it again. And it will just help a little bit uh, just to get that up to that level five now when you get to level five you will get to unlock this uh now as you can see here 
I've not unlocked everything. Now, I've only unlocked the floor. Uh, I've only unlocked the wall and I've only unlocked the door. Uh, and there's a reason for that because I can actually build a small shelter just for myself, just to get set up and sleep through the night and stuff. And yeah, and there you go. And it's obviously going to be small because obviously the weather can actually have an impact on the build. So that's why you're probably going to need the, um, uh, the hammer as well. So you can repair it as you're on wood until you get to stone. Then I would highly recommend going to stone as soon as possible. Now the thatch, I would never, I have unlocked it before. Uh, don't get me wrong when the first game, game first came out, but I, I've never touched it since. It's pointless. You could literally do that straight away. But like I say, you can, if you're quick enough and to get to level five and you save your points and you've got four points there, you've got to make sure you've got four points for when you get to that, then you're going to have a, a decent shelter that's a lot better than this crap here. <laughs> Sorry, this crap here. So yeah, so like I say, just unlock what, you actually need as and when you need it just because you've got the points doesn't mean you need to use them and that's the way i do it anyway and then obviously here you've got it's kind of self-explanatory what you're going to need uh because you want to get to iron tools as soon as possible uh so obviously you're going to need the stone furnace uh so that you can get the iron to get the anvil and then you can start unlocking now in the open world yeah I probably will go through the iron axe especially if you know but if I was on a mission, we just stuck with the stone. And because we had the tools like the pickaxe and the um, knife that we actually had with us that we got from the workshop. But obviously in this playthrough that I'm doing at the moment, we haven't got that. Now it is important to get the oxide dissolver. Now there is an actual, that reminds me, there is one here. Uh, and I have used it, but I never use it anymore. It's, yeah, I won't bother. I won't waste points on it. You can literally just get oxide. Put a 50 stack into your oxygen shot slot uh, and you're good to go for a little bit and you just have to keep doing that until you actually unlock uh the oxide dissolver and then probably get a couple of these oxygen bladders fill those up and then you've always got one ready to actually just switch over while the other one's filling up that's the way i like to do it anyway and then later on you can get another tank uh, later on so yeah basically that's it that's it obviously you might want to get that as soon as possible as well depending on when you want to do a quest or whether you just want to wait in late till later on when you've actually got more experience, um, more tools to actually be able to deal with a quest. Although the quests are pretty easy for the most part. So yeah, anyway, that is actually how the tech tree works. And that's how I would do it. Obviously it's different to everybody. Like I will go with bows and probably the hunting rifle over spears and stuff like that. But that's just my kind of style. That's my play style. If you want to test that out, then yeah, just test that out. And like I say, you know just make sure you only unlock what you actually need at that time and that's probably the best way to do it in my opinion okay so let's move over to the talent points now unfortunately i haven't done much in the talents here uh, so i'm actually going to go to another character but this is where we actually come into the actual app that i'll be showing you uh, momentarily so if we go back to the character screen so as you can see i've actually got all the talents already set up in here one of the things i like to do with the talents to start with is probably go with sort of like uh yeah health obviously and stuff like that uh and one of the things i like to get sooner rather than later is unlock the ability to turn wood into sticks uh, you need that talent to unlock, oh, um, you, you need that talent to unlock, let me go back to the tech tree, Let's go across here, this. So if you, if you look at this lock here, we've got this, it requires talent lever breakdown. If it's got that one on it, you need a talent before you can even unlock that, but I've never done the lever uh, because, yeah, I can get plenty of sticks and yeah, it's fine. I know people say, yeah, you can break your lever down. Yes, I know but I can also get plenty of sticks doing it this way as well. And it's quicker in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it's literally, yeah, one stick per one wood and you can get plenty of wood, uh, plenty of wood. Well, you can get plenty of leather, but you are going to need that for other stuff. Like if you're building in stone and stuff like that, there's other stuff that you need it for as well. So I tend to just stick with sticks, but that's just my, like I say, that's just my style of play. Okay, let's back to the talents. So obviously there's some talents that you need uh, to actually unlock certain tech which i don't like that kind of thing because it just means you've got to waste talents uh, the tech tree should be separate completely from the talents but that's the way they've chose to do it oh i've gone the wrong wrong way that's the way they've chose to do it okay so now 
there are 60 points if i'm not mistaken that you get which is what you're using here you've got all these tabs there there's so many of them and as you can see i've got nothing in habitation i think i used some of these for top for tools durability of tools and that when i was in outpost on one of the other characters uh, but i tend not to use that that much and obviously you've got combat here one of the things i do like to use is i used to like, as you can see i've got this at freight and that gives you a plus 10 percent movement speed while knife is equipped so that's why you'll always see me when i'm running around the map uh, even after i've just killed something i'll switch back to my knife and then carry on running because that gives me that extra speed because of the talent that i've just used now there are some talents that uh i would not recommend like these ones here which is increased hit hit multiplier on boat no not that one uh chances to fire two arrows now i've actually done this on another character and it caused loads of problems for me kept lagging out and so i actually decided not to use it anymore and i actually respect it because the, i'll show you why but before we go to there um like i say you got 60 points on here that's the max you can use and the reason for that is it was designed more for multiplayer uh so the idea was to have each player be have a, a specific role so they would choose certain talents uh depending on what their role was in the team that was the idea of it and obviously people wanted to play solo as well so we do have a solo tree now everyone gets a solo tree you get 25 points and as you can see this is how i've done it and to be honest with you it's just whatever you want to choose it, it really is uh so obviously i've gone for stamina and uh, movement speed at the top there but you do have to uh, get so many points in the top here before you start lock unlocking all these down here but it doesn't explain how many points you have on that so it's trial and error which can be frustrating and very expensive uh, especially if you've got rent and you need to respec uh, so yeah so but the thing is though as it says here the talent tree only functions when playing solo so this tree will only function when playing solo so you'll get the benefit as solo player from this tree and uh this tree so you're basically getting 75 playing solo but when you're playing multiplayer uh these points assigned on this tree do not apply when playing in a team so even you've got the team that you've got the points in this um and you've got all the points in this when you if you're actually playing solo you'll get the benefit of the solo talent tree but if you're playing in multiplayer that will be it won't get used and you'll only benefit from the what you actually used on these trees here i hope i explained it well okay so i'm going to quickly move over to the other window um so let's just do that now and there's a bit of a, there's a website here i haven't used it in a while um but and like i say this hasn't actually been updated in a long time from what i can see but it will help you uh i just need to go to survive a lot of mine just to check that out okay yeah so uh now the talents now there is a talent thing on here i'm not sure how accurate it is uh, i have used it in the past and it was okay so if we go to survival and go to cooking so the reason why i'm doing this is because i had to, i wanted to respec uh, a while back uh, most of my characters uh, so that I could actually get there was two things that I wanted on this one of them was the main one uh, and one of them was uh, the food pyramid which gives you an extra uh, a buff so you get four instead of three uh, so that is actually beneficial and that was mainly when I was doing the big missions uh, which I will be doing again eventually mainly when the new DLCs come out uh, so that is what I wanted to actually get to and there was also one more thing that I wanted which I didn't realize until I was getting that, that how beneficial this would be. Now, the problem is with, um, you know, most people don't like uh, say that um, farming is pointless and that's true. But if you want to do gardens, if you're on outpost or in open world, and you want to do gardens, it's a good way of planting into the actual crops and they won't die. So yeah, there is that. So there is a benefit to it in certain circumstances So that, that, that I have found. Anyway, so the way this works, look, so if I put one on there, it will unlock that. If I put one on there, it will lock that, unlock that. But that's as far as it go. So let me just have a look at how I've done this. Two, four, five. See, I'm on the wrong character. I've got 14 here. I think you can do it in 13. So now if we look at this, I'm going to see if I can get all the way down there in 13 points. But as you can see, it doesn't tell you how many points you need to unlock here to actually unlock these i know it unlocks them but once you've actually clicked on it to unlock it that's it you're done 
you've actually used it and you would have to pay Ren to unlock it to to re, for a respec a re, a respec point. So let's have a look. So I think on here, I think I went to there and that unlocked that. And then we went to there and it's still, that hasn't unlocked anything, see? So if we look at that now and we unlock that, that's gone to two and it still hasn't unlocked anything, okay? So if we unlock that and that still hasn't unlocked anything. So we put that to three and there we go. We've actually unlocked the ability to be able to get the actual plot to that with a, you know, the, the one I actually wanted that I explained earlier. So as you can see, I've had to put three points at the top there. You can probably put those in any place you want. And then I had to put three points in there. Obviously you could put three points in there if you wanted to. And then I do that and there we go, we're done. Now, obviously I want to get to this one here, which is the food pyramid. Uh, so we need to look at what, obviously we're probably gonna have to come down this way. So if I do that, that actually unlocks that there. Um, let me just check my, uh, I did. Yeah, I think we need um, an extra one at the top here. I mean, we could do that, but then it's only going to unlock this. So if we take that out and we'll do an extra one on there. No. Yeah, but we, this is a problem. You can't just mess about seeing what will unlock what. Because you, once you've done it, this is why this is an actual good website for actually, especially people starting. So if we do that, and there we go, I've got it. So I actually put, I had to put two, four, I had to have five at the top there to actually get this unlocked. I mean, I'm, we might have been able to put a point in there actually. So if I take that out, let's have a look. Yeah, so that will unlock it. So, so you could do that and then you've actually got this. So let's have a look at how many points that I actually took just to get to that that we needed. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, there you go. I think that's the minimum you can do to actually get uh, the food pyramid. So I hope that made sense to you. I'm just gonna switch back over quickly. Uh, I really do hope that makes sense to you. It's very hard to sort of uh, explain this. Um, it's not my usual kind of videos. I don't usually do these. Um, you know, there are a lot of people that do these. I don't know, it's just, not my kind of thing, but if it works out and people want to see more, I will do some more, of course. Uh, <clears throat> so I can actually leave this on the screen uh, for you to have a look at. So you can pause it, you can reference to this. Uh, I'm also going to leave uh, the link to this actual website for you to check out and you can just play about with it, especially if you're brand new and you can just play about with it. And it will also give you the details of what the actual talents are. Uh, now, like I say, I would mainly to start with just focus on like um, the top ones where you've got like, where is it? Where is, where's the exploration one? Actually, it's the solo one that's got more of the health on it. You've got the increase out. You definitely, as you can see, I've always, always have those three done on all my uh, ones. And then to be honest with you, it's just up to you what you choose on these ones. Um, so you're just going to have to work it out what you use there. If you're only ever going to play solo, then yeah, there's some certain points here, like this one, that you could use and then not use in the uh, multiplayer one, uh, and vice versa. But you've got to remember that if you do play multiplayer and you choose this one, this health monitor, but then don't you choose it on the other tree, you're going to lose this ability if you're playing multiplayer. So uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically it. As you can see, I've got one respect point there. Uh, I think I got it. I can't remember what I was trying to do. I can't, uh, and then it worked out in the end anyway. So yeah, and quickly, I the, this for this tree here, the hunting, I always like to get these, as you can see, the health bar monitor and the outlines to the animals when you're actually, um, when, you, when you're aiming at them, uh, you'll get the outline depending on what distance you are at them. Now, that really does help. And that's definitely one I would do. And that is definitely what I would do. But like I say, it's personal preference. So it's completely up to you. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll answer as best as I can. If you want me to do any more videos on anything else, let me know. And I may actually do that if there's enough people that want it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, hold well on. Sorry. No, there's one more website I wanted you to check out. Uh, this one does get updated on a regular basis. At least it did. I don't know if it does now. So we've got one here called Icarus Intel. These actual links I will leave in the actual description. Now, this is an awesome website. We used to use it on multiplayer uh, and just for speed more than anything else, obviously, because I'm streaming 
didn't want to look in like 12 hours and stuff like that but uh because back then uh the timer still went even when you weren't on the game that's been changed now so it's not so bad we can do it in multiple streams uh so that's not so bad now so but back then we literally had to do the whole mission in one stream because obviously we couldn't do it until the following week so and it would have expired and we would have lost our character anyway so this actually gives you a full map now let's just have a quick look so this is the daylight olympus now this is the it's actually the open world olympus now it's not daylight daylight was when it was the outpost so they haven't changed that actually uh, but it gives you a general idea and if you look here uh, you can actually see all the actual caves and where the locations are as you can see um, you've got like a star ones those are really good ones and if you hover over them it gives you a lot of details of how much ore is in there it doesn't tell you what's all ores in there because they're actually um, generated when you actually start a game when a save so you don't no one really knows what's going to be in there they're just automatically spawning they're just it's kind of random of what you get in there uh, there is a deep and these are deep more deep ore mines that you can use it doesn't tell you what ores they are because like i say it's the same as the nodes they will randomly spawn in every time you start a game uh, but it should stay like that for the entirety of the uh, the playthrough that you're doing and and yeah this is a really good and you can actually zoom right in as well and go into detail compared to what you can on the actual game and this could help you out a lot now i've noticed with this though um if i change the map so for instance i go to the six map then i go back to the olympus map oh not the olympus um the daylight it's best if you do an open word you need to go to the daylight olympus map because it shows you the full map of everything as you can see the deep mining ore deposits aren't on so what i have to do is go off and on and there you go i, I tend not to use this as much now because i kind of kind of know most of the places because i've done so much of it before uh and there's also mission it actually gives you information about the mission so if you go to the imp olympus one as you can see here this is the actual what is this one uh meridian extraction it gives you all the information there uh about there so if you don't want to use this and you want to do it yourself without being spoilers you can do uh but it also gives you this where the map because if you want to have a look you can actually just click on that and just get rid of that real quick so you don't see what's going on in the mission so you can just do it uh, but this will give you uh, the part of the map that you're allowed to go to on this particular mission so you could literally plan out where you land um, and where you're actually gonna actually set up I think it's actually you can see here this is actually where you're gonna land and then you can look we used to I think on this mission we kind of came over to this cave and we built here and we did this mission anyway so i'll leave these uh, links in the description for you to check out uh definitely worth it so i am going to call it here guys thank you so much for joining me if you enjoy the content don't forget to like subscribe and click that rusty bell to be informed of future videos and with that take care guys and i will see you in the next video